Hey guys, Fee Freak 5 9 and today's video guys, I've got the first episode of a new series which I'll be calling Maribel Italia's Road to Milan and this is probably like the hundredth time that I've recorded this commentary because I've just realised that I'm absolutely useless and shit at uh, recording commentaries over goals as it is my first time but I guess practice makes perfect, the saying goes so I'll probably get better as I go so um, basically guys, in this series I'll be starting off with Maribel Italia as my striker and I'll be trading way to the full Milan squad and along the way I'll also be playing games and um, opening packs maybe but at the moment really I can't open packs as it's just the start of the series and I don't really have that many coins but uh, also a, a shout out to my friend uh, the Lollipopper as he did help me quite a lot in deciding what I should do for this series and um, so basically if you enjoy quad videos because that's uh, what he does uh, go in the description of this video there'll be a link on the screen also uh, right about now go click that and drop him a sub and also tell him I sent you and um, guys I just wanted to do this series um, because I wanted to get a bit of interaction between us guys because I don't really get them in comments on my videos so I want you guys to go right down uh, in the comments right now uh, go down there and comment which player should buy next time for this series for the first signing of the series aside from Mario Balotelli um, the player can be max price uh, about 3,000 coins and now let's get into our first game now guys and as you can see this uh, this team that we came up against is absolutely insane. I could not believe it. This guy had Robin in Division 5 and Iniesta to top it off with that. Um, but there was a reason that why this guy was in Division 5. He was an absolutely terrible player. Uh, one of the worst players that I've versed in FIFA alone. And um, as you can see, we scored two goals already with Zarate. Fantastic player. I would recommend you buy him for your cheap Serie A teams or your Argentine teams. And this guy goes for the sweat uh, with Rooney. In the 13th minute, but fortunately he misses. And then fortunately in the 23rd minute, we have a beast in Gambrini and he scores a very nice header. Uh, puts it back into net, he gives us a 3-0 lead. And then Mario Balotelli just seals the deal basically, like there was no coming back for this guy after this. 4-0 to us in the 26th minute. And um, now guys, he does get a red card. And I do cut out a few of the goals now guys, because it did get quite boring to watch this. And as you can see, Mario Balotelli gets the man of the match. Uh, 9.8 rating and we win 9-0 as he rage quits and um, we pick up a very nice coin total after the match and we also pick up a title uh, a trophy actually trophy title uh, whatever you want to call it and we get into our second game now guys and we come up against a Borussia Dortmund team on the most part aside from two players who are his uh, goalkeeper uh, I think that's Trap I think that's how you say that guy's name and he has Aubameyang the absolute beast he has transferred to them in real life now and as you can see Mario Balotelli hits the post but uh, Zorate is there, always in position, and he follows up and scores a decent header. And the same thing basically happens now, but on the uh, opposite side. Uh, Zorate hits the post, and Mario Balotelli hits it back into the net in the 44th minute. I thought that was all, but he's Marco Royce, somehow gets a goal, and uh, that gives him the 2-1. Uh, it gives him a bit of a consolation goal. And then we go along right now. I wasn't finished after that, and we pass the ball to Mario Balotelli from Zorate. Scores a very nice goal, just before the uh, siren or the whistle and um, now I did skip a lot of goals for this guy as well as you can see it's 5-1 now I skipped two goals and we've gone a very nice skill run with Zarate now um, and we sort of take the mickey out of his goalkeeper and we sort of key roll it into the back of the net in the 60th minute and um, after this he does get a penalty for some reason he takes it with his goalkeeper um, we stop it but unfortunately as we throw it out his player gets ahead to it and Marco Royce always in the right position puts it back into the net for a uh, uh, the 6-2 um, scoreline and he's a bombing what a goal right there um, fair play to him and in the 90th minute he scores a sweaty goal with Royce yeah so he's Royce got a hat-trick uh, I think our Mario Balotelli got a hat-trick and we get another three points three more points till we get the division title and three more points after that if we uh, want to win um, no, no actually the division title is 12 points and the promotion is nine points and as you can see now guys we after that match we went out and did some trades um, we picked up quite a lot of nice steals here. I'm looking to make about 10k after I sell all these players. And as you can see that Sorensen, the best deal of this episode, I do believe he goes for about 5,000 coins, so that was quite a nice pickup as we picked him up for 1.7k. And as that was going on, guys, I did actually go through and uh, buy a few bronze packs. Sorry, guys. Um, sort of screwing up in this commentary. I'm trying to rush it because I do have to go somewhere. But uh, I really only opened up these bronze packs. I needed some fitness cards, but I thought maybe we might get lucky and get a tops player, I mean, <laughs> team of the week player, um, as the team of the week on the most part was 
mainly uh, made out of silvers and bronzes. Aside from one player, I think he was like some Korean player who was rated 78 and he had like 85 shooting, which was quite nice. As you can see, all the players in XAR came back. They have sold. The 4312 went for 850. The Basingla went for 650. The uh, Sorensen went for 4.5k, very nice profit. The Titus Bramble in a 4 and 2 and 2 went for 3.1k, and we still have all these items at the end of this episode now, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, guys, a like would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time, and I'll try my best to improve in commentating over the goals.